Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to do some characterization on my VNA, which is ZV24. Uh, that is being, it has a frequency range from 10 megahertz all the way up to 24 gigahertz. So for the basic setup, uh, I just basically turn on my VNA, which is by Rhodes and Schwartz. And here's the ba basic setup. So what have I done? It's a two port network and I have connected my Yagi Yuda antenna from port one and here's my connection so this is my Yagi Yuda antenna which is connected to my uh, VNA port one via cable which is connected to port one right here so the first thing that I need to do the first thing that I when I start doing characterization of any device uh, since antenna is a one port device so i don't need port number two right here port number two is not required but port one is actually which is necessary so the first thing it comes up with is this that uh, just simply turn on and then run the software which says network analyzer just simply double click on it it will start actually running the software which is being uploaded so the first thing as soon as you connect your antenna I have already calibration which is already being calibrated uh, so I'm just going to simply plug in since it's connected to port 1 since my antenna is connected to port 1 right here so all I need to do just click on S11 alright so let me just click on S11 here is the resonance frequency from 10 megahertz all the way up to 24 gigahertz alright right here so from 10 megahertz all the way up to 24 gigahertz and the next thing that I need to do is actually I can set the span or I can individually set and see so how do you set a span so the first thing that you need to do when you're setting up a span is go to your span right here start center just click on it select start and you just type in your frequency that you need so here I'm going to type my frequency 950 megahertz all right so this is where you're going to type your start frequency and i'm going to type in my stop frequency stop frequency is going to be let's do from six giga so now this is that span that you can see s11 of my antenna as you can see now i can uh, call in my marker by pressing a marker button right here just simply click on marker and then move this marker around all right so the rule of thumb for any device out of device is actually negative 10 db so if you want to see the resonance frequency let's look at where which resonance frequency is giving you negative 10 db what negative 10 db is that less than 10 percent of power is being reflected back to my antenna or my dot device under test all right so let's just move this around and I have already previously made a video on it but I'm just going to show you a couple other things that uh, you can do to find the impedances and, and admittances and other things like that. So right now if I were to move my marker, so the first resonance that I'm getting right here, this is at about 2.92 gigahertz as you can see it from here and negative 22 so which is good. So anything less than negative 10 is pretty good. So this is one resonance and I'm getting a couple other resonance like at uh, 3.05 gigahertz and right here at about negative 21.201 dB at, and then there are different resonance components which are present so by simply moving my marker I can see where do I get uh, negative 10 below negative 10 and what is the frequency so this is how you can get the frequency using marker so up till up till about 4.2 gigahertz this antenna is operating really good and then if I were to move further uh, in this reason I get about negative 12 at 4.6 gigahertz and then afterwards I'm not getting any good resonance uh, I am getting resonance but I'm not getting good impedance matching I'm not getting below negative 10 so this is up to a span from 950 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz as you can see clearly right here but I can just uh, look at the entire span of it by by just presetting it by pre pressing a preset button right here it will give me for that entire frequency so let's look at s11 
So now I can see a lot of components at different frequencies. I can bring my marker in and then I can move around. I can see another resonance right here at about 15 gigahertz. I can use the same antenna, which is this, this antenna to actually get resonance up to 15 gigahertz and there's another resonance. So there are a lot of resonance point um, at about 16 right here 16.78 gigahertz then I have another peak right here another dip at about 18 gigahertz and then I'm getting another gig uh, dip at about 22 gigahertz this antenna is a uh, quite a good antenna uh, because you're getting different resonance frequency but the frequency that I focus on is from let's go from span let's do span the start 950 megahertz all the way up to stop at 6 gigahertz this is the region that I'm interested in so I can see the graph clearly by moving the marker I can move the marker right here all right so at 3.25 gigahertz I'm getting about negative 24.7 dB let's look at some other measurements as well so I can simply go to my uh, area select to simply click on this and then add a diagram area plus trace so let's just click on it I've got another trace so by just clicking on this with the mouse and then going to my measure button I can add and go to more and then I can add couple things couple of things I can find out the impedance at that particular point where I'm getting a resonance of about 3.25 gigahertz and negative 25 dB of my return loss s11 so let's find out exactly at that point what is the frequency what is the impedance at that particular point so I'm just gonna go to my Z parameters and then I'm gonna select OK because I'm interested in Z11 because it's a single port device so it's only connected my antenna is a single port device right here it's connected to port 1 so I am only interested in Z11 okay so I'm gonna press Z11 click OK now I have the measurements of Z11 all right what other measurement that I'm interested in so now I have the first graph which is giving me S11 this is giving me Z11 so I can go so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring my marker in I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna bring my marker in and I'm gonna go to exactly the same point where I'm getting 3.25 gigahertz on using my marker so let's focus here right here at this point so I'm going to change this frequency to 3.25 3.255 at that particular point I am getting a s11 of negative 25 dB but I am getting about 46.00 something so 46 ohms uh, the antenna port is terminated at 50 ohms so and this port is also 50 ohms but as you can see you're not getting exactly 50 ohms there is something else going on due to the transmission line property and things like that so this is how you get the frequency uh, impedances I can also bring go to area select I can also look at one more thing I can also bring another graph add di a diagram media plus trace click on this I'm also interested in go to measure and uh, go to more and I'm, I want to see what is the Y parameter which means the admittance so Z is your impedance so at 3.25 let's look at the first graph 3.25 I'm getting a resonance of negative um, uh, S11 of negative 24 dB here I'm getting an impedance of about 46 at the same point but actually this thing was designed for 50 ohms my antenna and this port itself port 1 what we're not getting 50 is due to the transmission line property and I've made like uh, lectures on them as well so now let's just click on this and let's bring admittance here and what admittance that we are interested in of course this is a port uh, we're only connected to port 1 so we're only interested in knowing what is my YS11 so I'm just gonna click on it and this is my admittance so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna bring my marker in and I'm gonna to go to that particular point where I'm getting 45.94 uh, ohms so I'm just gonna simply move my marker to 3.25 3.25 
point five right here this is that point where I'm getting three point two five five zero zero and I'm getting twenty one point seven eight if you can clearly see this you're getting about twenty one point okay so let's do some display configuration and let's do some color scheme and let's do black with solid lines okay uh, is it visible or what about this all right I, I don't know if you can see this or not i think it's even worse i think let's do a dark background all right if you can clearly see this let's look at this so here's what i wanted to show you so this is my s11 at 3.25 i'm getting negative 25.6 something db of s11 my impedance graph which is this at 3.25 I'm getting an impedance of 46 ohms and this is my admittance which is actually inversely proportional to my uh, impedance I'm getting about 21 if you can clearly see 21.65 milli siemens siemens are the unit for your um, uh, uh, admittance because it's an opposite of ohms so moles 21 so let's just verify this so so indeed it is inversely proportional so let's bring our calculator in so i need to take an inverse of my impedance which is this so it's around 46 so one of one divided by 46 ohms and let's hit enter and let's press sd so i am getting if you were to move this to your right one two three 21.7 milli siemens and if you were to look at it if you were to look at it your if you were to look at your admittance indeed you are getting 21.8 or 21.8 milli siemens so this is how you find admittance using your uh, impedance and and admittance using your vector network analyzer of a single port device or a two port device and things like that so I hope you like this small tutorial on how to actually characterize your antenna, how to find its impedance, how to find its admittance and things like that. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section.